Welcome to Science, Health and Healing, Library of Children's Health Core. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is Exercise 106, Fat Burning Exercise. Fats burn like a candle, slowly for a long period of time. I'm now referring to burning fat in the human body to release energy. Sugar in the body, by contrast, burn like a dry paper. There's a flash, there are ashes. Fat is burnt in scientific language by a process called lipolysis. Liposite is a term for fat cell. L-I-P-O-C by T-E. So there are enzymes which break down fat, which are called lipases, or lipolytic enzymes. They're driven by oxygen. They, they break down fatty substances, which usually are in long chains, into smaller segments called intermediate chain fatty acids. Then they break them further into smaller chains called short chain fatty acids and then of course they can break them to yet shorter segments called fatty acids and they are brought into a cycle of enzymes called Krebs cycle in the cells occurring in structures in the cells called mitochondria which break down fatty acids to release ATP energy, water, carbon dioxide. So that's a simple model. The problem begins when fat accumulates in excess in the cells. It is not metabolically turned over rapidly. The fat burning enzyme, lipolytic enzyme, lipases, cannot function on them because the fat becomes rancid, so to speak. Butter is very healthful food. Rancid butter is not so. It's oxidized, it's decomposed, it's denatured. So if you want to visualize, when you have excess grease buildup in the cells, it is rancid fat. Grease is a term, cellular grease is a term that I introduced many years for this gooey stuff which collects on the cell membranes, on the mitochondrial biomembranes, in the matrix, the glue that holds the cells together, and in other cellular components. It is made up of rancid fat, sticky sugars, tangled proteins, molecular waste, and cellular debris. Insulin is the fat storing hormone. There are more than 70 articles on my encyclopedia focusing on issues of insulin toxicity. The problem with insulin toxicity is insulin is fattening and once the fat sits, as you know, for example, in the mid region, it's metabolically inactive fat cells. Cardiologists cardiologist will tell you that it is this type of visceral mid body fat which is correlates most strongly with the risk of heart disease and stroke. And I agree. I don't agree with cardiologists in many things, but this I do agree. Now, fat burning exercise. It has to be slow, sustained exercise. For example, walking is an excellent example of fat burning exercise. Swimming, not competitive swimming, but that is a good fat burning exercise. Now, if you are a tennis enthusiast, when you run after this yellow bouncy round thing, that actually is sugar burning exercise, but that's fun of it. But then when you walk around, you're very nicely attired, the white shorts and the white, you know, t-shirt and the shoes and the rackets, the whole scene. That's fat burning. And in many exercises, if you, for example, uh, look at um, basketball players, basketball is an excellent example of sugar burning fat. There is intense activity, then they walk around. So if you're interested in burning fat, huffing and puffing and sweating in a gym is not going to help you. Yes, you will lose some weight, you will lose water, but I will tell you that within months or years, you will 
get that weight back. Now, there may be some exceptions to this, I understand that, but for most people, huffing and puffing exercise is not going to help you lose weight. In fact, when you huff and puff, then your blood sugar goes down, then you have to eat something, and usually you eat the wrong thing, and that further raises insulin, and insulin causes yet more deposition of fat. I think that if you listen to centenarians and near centenarians, they will tell you what the back burning exercise is. And they do it to be limp, to be spontaneous, to loosen up their muscles and the joints so that they can get the muscles to breathe, get the oxygen, and don't allow excess fat to build inside the muscles as well as in the fatty layer covering the muscles. Now, on wiki-medical.org, I have extensive discussion of fat burning exercise. My book, The Koda and Olympic Exercise, which I wrote about 20 years ago or so, discusses this exactly crucial distinction between fat burning and sugar burning exercise. I do ask you to look at the companion article, Sugar Burning Exercise, and then there is one where I revisit this issue of combining fat and sugar burning exercises. Thank you for joining me. Please forward this YouTube segment to your email, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn contacts. Visit our website, www.kids123.org. Children's Health Core is a non-profit trust funded and founded by Talat, my wife and I, some years ago with a vision to provide authentic information for children all over the world as well as for their parents and teachers. Visit our website, kids123.org. We give you some suggestions how you can participate in our vision. Thank you for joining me and do join me again and do so soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.